Hey everyone, Gordon here with another Tech Time with Gordon. Today I'm going to be talking about tips when using Amazon. We all use Amazon one time or another, so hopefully these tips give you a better idea of how to use it. So let's begin. Now I know that many of you probably have heard of Amazon before, but if you're unfamiliar with what they are, basically they're, they're the world's largest online retailer and um, prominent cloud service provider out there. What I'm talking about is if you're looking to buy something online, generally Amazon is a great place to go. They also offer a variety of different cloud services such as offering ebooks, uh, video streaming service, um, the works. So that's what they do. Now I might use a few terms like Amazon Prime in this video so to give you a better idea of what Prime is is basically it is a subscription based service that Amazon offers at a fee. What this does is it offers you speedy uh, service, delivery service, and it also provides um, quite a few different perks, uh, Amazon based. So, you know, if you are a Prime member, you will also have access to quite a few of their cloud based streaming services. My first tip when it comes down to Amazon is learning about third party vendors and how to identify which products are third party or coming directly from Amazon. So if you don't know what third party vendors means, basically Amazon allows other companies or sellers to sell their products on Amazon. So nothing, not everything comes directly from Amazon. There are quite a few third party vendors out there. Um, Generally, the ideal when you're buying something, when in, if possible, you should try to buy stuff that are directly coming from Amazon.ca. Um, the reason why is um, this means that it's directly coming from Amazon, so it's going to arrive quicker um, and it should arrive as advertised. The nice thing also about this is if you have to return it, you're using Amazon policies when it comes to returning, so a lot more easier. Whereas with third uh, third party vendors, you're not sure exactly what you're going to get, and it may take um, a lot longer to be delivered because it's not coming from one of those Amazon warehouses. So how do I distinguish whether this is coming from a third party vendor or from Amazon itself. Well, you can always make sure by looking at the seller's information. So usually uh, just below the add to cart or buy now, you should see who it's being shipped from. If it says shipped from and sold by amazon.ca or amazon.com, if you're using the American base, you are good. However, it's being, it says shipped and sold by someone else, you know they're third party vendors and you'll have to, you know, figure out the seller to determine um, how things are going to work. Another thing you can look at is if it, you know, if you have the ability to um, buy it with Prime, usually Prime means that it's somewhere in one of the Amazon warehouses, so it'll make it a lot quicker to be delivered. Tip number two, um, using the filter. So, you know, with Amazon, has a you know hundreds of thousands of products that are available um, to look at and if you're just using the search you know with kind of I'm looking for a, a pot you know this bare bone search could lead to many options so you know it can be difficult if you're just using um, just the search feature uh, now the nice thing about Amazon, it does have a uh, filter panel, which is located on the left hand side and you can kind of see it uh, right here. So with the filter panel, you can pick and choose kind of what the options to narrow down your search. So, you know, generally for me, I like to search. Uh, the first thing I'll do is select a prime. So that way I know it's probably going to be coming from uh, an Am Amazon source and it should be delivered pretty quick. Uh, the other thing I might do is do based off customer uh, reviews. 
So, you know, looking at four stars to maybe three stars. So by using the filter tab, we can narrow it down and just make it easier to find the product that we want. Tip number three. So in the third tip, if you're looking for those better deals, uh, one thing you could look at is the Amazon warehouse. Um, you can actually find it by before you hit the search by clicking the all and drop down and there'll be Amazon warehouse deals. So what are Amazon warehouse deals? Basically when products are being returned, so these can be just open boxed, um, maybe they didn't want the product, maybe there's a little nick on it or a little dot or whatever, um, they will be redistributed to the Amazon warehouse where you could potentially buy it um, at better discounts or better offers. So if you're okay at refurbished or you know some small uh, flaws to get those savings, the Amazon warehouse could be for you. Now, one thing Amazon doesn't do is it doesn't give you information on what the prices were before, generally with the products. You know, you can't go too far back. They'll just say, you know, what it is now and maybe what you might be saving. Not a whole lot of information. So it can be challenging when it comes to figuring out if this is the best price to buy at this time. Now, lucky for us, there are a lot of third party options out there that we can use to, you know, figure out what the prices have been in the past. You know, we can look at, you know, weeks, months, years uh, back there to figure out um, when the best deal was to kind of help us to determine if we should wait a bit. Um, nice thing about these third party websites too is if there is a par uh, product that you're interested in, you can generally save it and track it so you can receive notifications or alerts letting you know now the time is to now now is the time to buy. Um, when it comes down to these, there's three that I've used. Uh, one is called Camel Camel Camel. This is the logo above. This is a website that you can go on. Um, just put in the product that you're interested in and it'll give you all that history um, and the different price points. Keepa is one I actually use on my phone a lot. This way I can uh, add a product that I'm uh, interested in and get notifications on my phone when I when is the right time to buy. Uh, another one is a uh, browser add-on, so you can add this to Google Chrome or Firefox. Now it doesn't track the the, the pack or um, products, but it gener it can give you promo codes or codes that will help you save money on the product that you're interested in buying. Here are some other tips while using Amazon. Now I mentioned Prime before, but to give you an, uh, another, uh, a refresher, Prime allows you to have access to free shipping as well as other services that Prime offers. Unfortunately, there is a price tag to this. Now if you're not willing to uh, pay the price tag at this moment, what you can look into is the free, th uh, the free 30 day trial. Um, it will require that you put a credit card on file, um, but if you cancel before the trial ends, you won't be charged anything. So remember, if you do do this free trial, remember to cancel it so you don't get charged for the you know, another 30 months or 30 days. Um, now, if you're not willing, if you're not interested in Prime, but you want to find ways to get free shipping, another thing you can do is look at um, filling your cart with low cost items to ensure that you have the minimum for free shipping. Now, during this video, the minimum is um, about $35. So if you were buying an item that cost you $20, unfortunately, you will have to pay the shipping. But, you know, you could throw, you know, you could buy some extra stuff in there. Maybe you need batteries. Maybe you need a new hammer. Whatever. Um, fill it out so that you have a cart worth of $35. And then you're not going to be charged uh, shipping costs for it. Um, another thing is to read the reviews. I say this with mostly everything. You know, you want to uh, review the product before you buy it. So, you know, see what the star rating is. 
if the average is one star, well, you know, we want to avoid those. Three or four stars is pretty good. By reading the reviews, if everyone's saying that there's a defect in the product or it broke or whatever, you're probably going to have the same luck with the product as well. Um, what you can also do, and if you don't want to read them all, is you can use websites like Review Meta. These websites will actually help um, decipher or pick out um, fake reviews and will only show you ones that are from legit customers and give you a, an average based on that. So, you know, be cautious when what you're buying, you know, definitely look at the reviews um, to determine if the product is right for you. That concludes my video on tips when using Amazon. Um, these tips are generally what I use when I use Amazon to buy products. You know, be aware that third parties do use Amazon and decide if you want, you know, if the third party is trustworthy um, or if you want to just deal with Amazon.ca directly. Um, we've talked about how to use filters to kind of narrow down our searches. Um, you know, getting discounts either by um, using the market or, you know, using different websites to track the information so you can buy at the right price. Um, definitely Amazon is uh, great when it comes down to buying products. And with these tips, hopefully you'll be able to successfully buy for yourself or get those discounted rates. Have a nice day. Bye for now.